Hi everyone! So today I thought I would try something a bit different. Uh, my husband suggested that and he, he wanted me to try a pour in a Tic Tac box and I thought it would uh, be very interesting to try. I will try with the lid, of course. The lid is just a little hole um, that has a... Well, it's just a little hole. So I will pour the paint in the box and then put the lid and then flip it like a flip cup, but just flipping the Tic Tac box and so the heavy body paint will end up on top. Uh, the heavy density paint will end up on top while the lighter density paint will end up on the bottom. And when I open this, it will pour on the canvas and we'll see what happens. I have mixed my paints the usual way. I mixed my heavy body and fluid acrylics with 50-50% paint and medium. It's uh, one part to one part, quite easy. And then I had uh, between 20 or 25% water to the colors I want to sell up only. So in this case, it's the green and the interference red. This is a fluid acrylic. I added a bit of water because I want it to sell up. I also have another fluid acrylic here, the zinc white. I didn't add water to that. I wanted to keep, uh, I want to keep it dense and heavy. Here is an acrylic ink. I mixed that in a one part acrylic ink to ten part medium, about that. And I added a couple drops of water, about five percent water, uh, not much more. It doesn't really need the water as the ink is quite uh, liquid already. So uh, let's start this. Uh, I will, I'm alone today so what I'll do is just move my table forward since my table is easier to move than my setup for those who has, have seen uh, the video of it. <laughs> you will understand why. If you haven't seen it, uh, I do a vlog every Saturday and uh, I will put the card up here if you want to check that out, maybe. So yeah, I'll uh, zoom in and I will get started. Okay, so now that we're zoomed in, I will start. I'm not sure I will be able to fit all of the paint in the Tic Tac box. I really don't think so. So what I'll do is, um, well, I'll start. I'll do one pour in the Tic Tac box and maybe I will just uh, refill it after. Well, probably I'll rinse it out and refill it. Okay, so I have pearl and iridescent red. Both should have uh, close to the same density, but I'll put the iridescent red first. I'll use the side of the tic tac thing. So it doesn't mix too much. And then the pearl. And the green. Well, the green has uh, the heaviest density actually. I should have put it first. We'll see what happens with that. And then black. And probably fit a little bit more. Let's flip it and I'll open it open it after I flipped it. I will center my canvas a little bit better and move that out of the way. Okay, so I'll flip this and pour it on the side here. I'll leave it as is. And I think I'll just re-pour the paint <coughs> right in it, like that. 
And we'll see what the result is. I'll skip the black for the second one. Quite like it, actually. <laughs> All those lines. So I'll give you a time lapse, see if it changes, and meanwhile I'll cover my sides. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to move it because uh, I noticed there was a reflection in my painting and I couldn't figure out what was causing the reflection. It's probably the light outside that I forgot to... Well, it usually don't really matter, but it, I'm usually not where I am. So that's probably it. I'm quite happy with my result. Quite happy that I used the pearlescent and the interference red paint. They both will uh, pop up a lot more once uh, it dries. I have some cells as well. A little bit of uh, lacing here. Very pretty. Uh, like I said, wasn't sure what the outcome would be, but I'm quite happy with it. it you know, I'm a sucker for the lines, and I got a lot of lines from the double pour, actually. Those are the lines that formed around, around it, and as I tilted, I lost the lines on both sides, but the lines in the middle are here, and they look fantastic. I have a bit of uh, cells popping here, here, here. The black is popping through here. Quite lovely, quite, quite, quite lovely. The, that drop of paint here is fantastic too. <laughs> really love it. I honestly can't wait to see how this one will dry. I think it will be fantastic. I think it will uh, look very cool. Quite happy I used the black only in one. I think uh, this side looks better uh, without the black. We'll see how it uh, dries though, because there's probably a little black mixed in because I had some in the Tic Tac box since I didn't rinse it out uh, between the pour. I can see some of it just coming through here and here as well. But overall, very, very pretty painting. Very happy with my husband with his uh, idea. I think it was a great one. He will say he only has good ideas, but that's not true. This one was, though. I have to <laughs> admit that. I forgot. I missed some spot here. Covering the side of a circle-shaped canvas is not easy because of the folds in the, in the canvas itself. I like how this side is turning a little bit more chaotic. I think it's because of the cells forming and the lacing happening. We'll see how it dries. We'll see. They will probably keep popping up. Uh, it's just that it, a lot happens in the beginning and after that it's very slow to happen and it gets boring in the time lapse and if the time lapse is too long, yeah. It gets boring and also you don't see much happening at all uh, it's very very slow but it's there it's happening so that was an interesting experiment I am very happy that I tried it 
when my um, lovely husband suggested it. I wanted to try it right away, but I had to wait because uh, I already had uh, paintings uh, drying up everywhere and I didn't have room to put <laughs> a new painting. Uh, so now I'm trying it and I'm very, very happy with the result. I think it looks fantastic. I'm a sucker for the lines. I love the lines that will happen in a fluid painting. I think it gives it a lot of movement and it's very pretty. Like I said, it's going to dry much darker. It will dry with a metallic touch around. The interference red is a bit uh, iridescent and it changes color whether it's on black or white. That's what I, why I put a bit of black in there uh, as well as white. So we can see the interference red uh, in both its state. I also put pearl because I wanted to add more metallic uh, and shininess to that painting. And I wanted the inter interference red to contrast with the green as well, but it's going to be a very subtle contrast and I think it's going to look fantastic. I am so impatient for this one to dry. Honestly, very happy with this painting. I'll have to try this again with other colors uh, combination. It's very, very uh, cool looking. There's still so much happening here. It's very weird. Uh, the look, the overall look is very weird. And yeah, I can't wait to see how it will settle, really. I think it's going to be a very good looking painting. I also have some paints left, so I'm probably going to do a second one today. Uh, but you'll see that as I did the videos uh, throughout the week. Very, very happy with the result. And yeah, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!